Welcome back to Let's Play New World. In this episode, we are going to start the Trials of the Soul Warden and appease the Angry Earth so that we can start to build our Azoth staff. Alright, we've made it to the Sercor Bridge. We have to defeat Tutelary Enforcers, Sentinels, and Fathomless Syllogists in order to pass our initiation. Here's the Syllogists, or one of them. Oof. Oh, I forgot I had the rapier on. We unlocked level four for it. Person tried to add me as a friend. I'm not sure if he meant to do friend or group. Wow, we're really on the edge here, huh? And you can't swim, so don't fall. <laughs> All right, there's a note over here. Oh gosh, I almost fell. Nope, don't climb. No. <laughs> Dear Nicholas. It's been four months since you left home to join the Soul Wardens. Are you staying safe? Are you eating right? I miss seeing your face at the breakfast table every morning. I said some harsh things when you left. I'm sorry. I was so scared of the path you were taking. All I want is for you to be safe and happy. I've never seen a happy Soul Warden. If your training becomes too hard, there's no shame in coming home. Everything can go back to the way it was. Someone else can save the world. Please write back. Love always, Mama. Mama. All right, we need two more of the enforcers and the sentinels. Looks like we have an enforcer right here. I'm not sure how I feel about the race here yet. Quick, and I like I like fast weapons, but the hatchet almost seems more satisfying to me. Oh, the rapier does have this nice bleed effect. Oh, oh, oh. We've done it. Since we came all the way out here, may as well clear the rest of the bridge. <laughs> yes, I know, I am closing in on the Azoth cap, I get it. Oh, I have a glitchy sword sticking out of me. Oh, that was a spear, he threw it at me. What a jerk. how much damage I was taking from these guys. You think there's a teleport over here? I don't see a blue beam anywhere. Oh, there's one over there. Look at that. That is super cool. Also, this dock has seen better days. You should probably get to fixing it. <laughs> Look who's returned. Apparently, this one means what they say. Still time to change your mind, you know. Save yourself from the unimaginable suffering. Nah, man. I'm gonna be a soul warden, whether you like it or not. I was afraid you'd say that. I could have kept going to the end of the world in blissful ignorance if you hadn't come. Damn, damn blast! Hope is 
such an annoying pest. It just keeps coming back. Like you. <laughs> All right, buddy. Time to come out of retirement. Let's go. You know, Emperor Marcus Aurelius once said, death smiles at us all. The best we can do is smile back. Yes. I think I am finally ready to start smiling again. All right. Let's start smiling. Becoming a soul warden is not like joining a social club or even a military order. A soul warden is not one who fights with a brawn or with their wit. They fight with their soul. What the heck does that mean? You will need a staff to focus the power of your soul. An Azoth staff. And by tradition, you must forge it for yourself. Attune it to your soul and so forth. All rich with symbolic meaning, probably. <laughs> so where do I forge this thing? My memory is still foggy, but it stands to reason you need the components first. I recall a cave on the northeast coast where we hid our valuables when we ran. Perhaps you could find an old haft there. All right, to the northeast coast. Well, we've made it to the Trader's Hold region. You could certainly see the unwelcoming flags and cannons and enemies that we have to fight through to get there. As it turns out, I had not been to Monarch's Bluff Hamlet yet, so I did have to kind of travel a bit. I'm very happy I did, though, because it was a very beautiful area. And, you know, as I continue to try to find the... A spot to purchase a home in this game. It was. It's nice to see all the areas to kind of make a informed decision as to where I want to be. The downside was is that not many of the crafting benches were upgraded in Monarch's Bluff. Although I could contribute to that just by doing town board missions. You know, it just kind of sets you back a little bit. That's a tough decision they give you. Like, oh, buy a house. Like, what? Like, all willy-nilly. It's like, first of all, they cost a lot of money. It's just like real life. They cost a lot of money, and what if I don't like where I ended up buying the house? <laughs> I actually don't know if you could sell a house in this game or not. That is a good question. The wildlife is mighty loud here. This is a very good spot for a camp. Let's go ahead and set our waypoint here, just in case. The warm plate cap. You know, we've actually, we've seen something similar to that in, in real life here in our complex and the mushrooms we saw there were orange like that and they were smoking like there was steam coming off of them it was it was wild like nature never ceases to amaze me we didn't get too close though we did kind of look them up and it, it turned out that 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 steam could actually be toxic so we we uh we didn't go too close to the mushrooms but it was a cool sight to see. Wow, this guy's shield for level 13 versus 21. It's very good. I only hope to have a shield as good as his. I don't know why the Azoth cap keeps popping up. Like, what am I supposed to do about it? Is there like an Azoth dump that I can do? Tough guy. Oh, got rid of your shield in one false swoop. Ow. You have to shoot me right in my face. Keep your grenades to yourself.
There's a lot of wrecked ships on land here. It's it's very cool because you got to imagine that a mysterious island that pops out of nowhere would have a lot of wrecked ships high up in the land. I'm sure Bermuda would have a lot of ships on land if they didn't have the huge reef guarding it. Alright, Captain's Demands. I don't think I could take much more of this. I try my best to craft weapons for these insolent pirates, and all I'm met with are more demands from this mad captain. All he wants is more shine, more gilded handles. I'm collecting my due fees, and a quite handsome pay at that, but I shall decidedly not put my mark on these weapons. In fact, I would be ashamed to admit these trinkets are my own work. <laughs> That's L. Harrison, the Master Artificer. These grenades are quite shiny. I think we found the cave. Oh, this pirate flag. It's quite intimidating. It's like a skull with a crown. Take it. <clears throat> oh wow, I might iron a lot faster with the steel weapons, or the steel tools. That's awesome. That's the first time I've run into iron since I've made the steel tools, so <laughs> that's my first, my first experience with it. Wow, look at this thing. This is quite the... Ah, quite the hideout they have here. Dude, not acceptable. How do I get up there? Climb the rocks, maybe? It looks like that's where the hilt is, so we're gonna have to figure it out. Or the haft, whatever. Even in berserk mode, I like can't even bash through this guy's shield. Dude, your shield is OP. Let me have it. <laughs> Let me have your shield. All right. Let's try from this side first. There we go. Ah, easy peasy. Got the ruined haft. And Lilith's last message. July 15th, 1060. Wow. The cities have fallen one by one. Corruption crests like a wave and we don't have the strength to stop it. I'm so angry. I hate running. It's not in the Soul Warden's nature. But anger won't help our order survive. If you're reading this, it means we never came back. Maybe Eternum is a very different place now. But if you're alive, still human, there's still hope. Take this haft, whoever you are and use it to stand against corruption. We'll be standing next to you in spirit. The Soul Wardens always answer the call. We're out of time, I have to go. Signed, Lilith. 
These guys are back already? Did I just kill you? Your respawn rate is incredible. Wow. We made it back to the hermit hole once again. Uh, it's nighttime this time. It's beautiful. They do still have a moon here. I guess we are based on Earth, right? Kind of. I actually hit the Azoth cap as well. And it, it keeps saying, you know, you're going to lose any additional that you earn. I understand that. I just don't know how to use the excess. I guess you could use it for crafting. But there must be other ways. If you know, like, a good way to use the excess Azoth, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know. Well, now. It's been an age since I laid eyes on one of these. It brings back many memories. Not all of them painful, either. Well done. You have the structural components for your Azoth staff. Now, you need an element that's a little harder to come by. Hmm. Like what? Because... In order to tap into living Azoth, you'll need something living. Not only that, but something with vast, untapped potential. You'll need a living seed of the angry earth. Well, how the heck am I supposed to get that? It won't be easy. The angry earth are strange, unpredictable, and, well, angry. But there was a woman once. At least, so she appeared, and she could commune with the angry earth. She given you these seeds? No, I'm afraid not. Our methods were somewhat cruel, but impossible now. If this woman still exists, you will find her to the north, in Everfall. I think that's where you should start. All right. Well, we're going back to Everfall at least. We have the optional visit the spirit shrine in Everfall, so she must be over by the spirit shrine, which is over here. Nope, that's the bear claw shrine. Where's the spirit shrine? Oh, up here. So this is the daughter well. And this says visit the spirit shrine in Everfall. Okay, so we'll definitely want to check that out. We have a bunch of other quests up here as well. A lot of faction quests, but we do have some side story quests as well. Alright, we found the shrine. Uh, it's good to know this was up here. I didn't really realize that a territory could have two different shrines, but this one does. It has the Bear Claw Shrine and the Shadow Mind Shrine, which really comes in handy. Uh, not only for getting to common quest areas, but also if we needed to go up here to Brightwood, or to the right over here to, what is this, Reekwater? I can't. Well, you know, when the settlement icon <laughs> covers the name Reekwater, <laughs> then those would really come in handy. So let's head down to the Daughter Well, see what that's all about. It sounds innocent, but I have a feeling it's not. Not too far away either, which is nice. If we had that shrine unlocked, we could have been here in a jiffy. But unfortunately, we didn't do any of the secondary quests up here yet. We can hopefully take care of that right now. Now that we are up this way. Whoop! Oh, I pulled two. Where's this daughter well? Oh, oh, oh my. What on earth? I still find it hard to believe that this island is on earth. I don't buy it. What the hell? Is this rock moving? Yeah, there's some serious voodoo over here. You tread on what was once hallowed ground, human. 
Whatever your purpose coming here, it is misguided. Go back to your settlement. I'm actually here to talk to you, but you know, thanks for the welcome. No surprise. Your kind are always speaking, never listening. That is why so few of you can hear the whispers of the angry earth. You are wasting your time and mine. What this land needs is fewer humans, time to heal, and a working Azoth fountain. This one seems to be blocked. Oh, it's an Azoth fountain. <laughs> it seems to be blocked as an understatement. Perhaps we can help. I am quite familiar with the true meaning behind the words when humans offer to help. You have arrived at a fortunate moment, however. Our needs outweigh our distrust. All right, well, clearly you don't trust anybody, so just get to the point. The flow of Azoth that feeds this fountain comes from the caves nearby, where I suspect it has become blocked. Get it flowing again, and I will at least listen to what you have to say. You know, the NPCs in this questline are not the nicest kind of people. <laughs> hey, we got a swashbuckler coat of the night. A better gear score gives us strength and constitution. We do lose the energizing stopping power, though. But we gain a lot more... Uh, well, not a lot more, but we do gain more elemental and physical armor. How does it look? Oh, it looks pretty cool. I feel like I'm in Pirates of the... Caribbean right now with all the barnacles all over it. I think we have other quests down here in these caves. Yep, we can see now we have three quests inside of the single canary mine, so we'll be able to knock out quite a bit of questing here. This is a very heavily guarded mine. What on earth are they doing here? Oh, I'm standing in corruption apparently. Ow. Glowing stockpile. Oh, that's our fourth ore sample. Okay, so I was up here doing some gathering and trying to do some of the faction missions, and I ended up gathering these ores, not realizing they were part of our secondary quest and not the faction quest. So I did have a little bit of a head start on the ore gathering. Not too much, though. We ended up getting another faction quest to come back up here anyways. Plus this main storyline. So it all worked out in the end. Oh boy. Down, like you would get like if you were hitting a ball with like one of those big uh, inflatable balls with a stick. <laughs> it's kind of the sound it makes. I don't know if I want to go in there because our corruption resistance is already waning and we don't have the Azoth staff yet. Yo, this big branch to the right. <laughs> Ow, what on earth are you and why are you kicking my butt? Corrupted tendril. Thank goodness for Berserk. Ow. Keeping the heels up. Whew. Gosh. I could do without those things. <laughs> oh, and that's, that's the mission. It's to cut those things down. Oh, I didn't even read that part. Corruption resistance is still going down. Oh, gosh, I pulled three of them. Time to pull out the sword and shield here. Emergency situation. All right, two down. Let's go back to the hatchet. Man, he was swinging big. He was going for the home run. Oh, we got a new longsword. Please tell me it's better than 215. 264. 
Strength and intelligence, when you kill something you gain mana. That is not ideal, but it does so much more damage than what we have. <laughs> so, we'll take it. You know, I want to pin these other two missions too so we don't fail to do them. Oh, we completed them already. Well, never mind then. We just have to beat the tendrils. There's another one right there. Wow, like seriously. I can't even move, this thing's just smacking right through me. I would say it, the biggest frustration about the game is the amount of stagger that the enemies have when they're hitting you. When you hit them, they hardly get staggered at all. And I'm sure like you can build a, a weapon set that that adds more stagger or that is like stagger specific. But by default, you, do, you hardly do any. But they do a ton. Any hit they get on you, staggers you. And it's really wild. And frustrating. You have to be blocking to avoid it. You can see right there, I missed the block and boom. I'm staggered right to the ground. Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> like, this is not fun. <laughs> Constantly being smacked into the ground by a tendril is not fun. And yes, I should be dodging this better and yada yada yada, get good, all that crap, but they attack super fast. Super fast. Ah, gosh. At least I finished that. So we have to destroy the clotting carapaces. Oh, that's the thing we were hitting before. That sounds like the... the ball. Are we still supposed to be collecting these? I don't think so. Yeah, we're not getting anything when we're collecting them. What am I doing here? Oh god, that was a mistake. It's all carapaces inside of here. Uh, oh my gosh, I am. I am approaching death. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. I'm just gonna kinda dipsy doodle around. Try to recover some health here. <laughs> Stay far enough away from the the tendrils. They can't hit you with that like, that slam attack. They still do shoot stuff at you. But the slam attack is the annoying part, right? If you have a, a ranged weapon, that'd probably be nice to use against them. Let's go in here so we stop getting shot at. Okay. Bring out the hatchet too. Do a little more damage. Get some health back. All right, we've survived. <laughs> We made it look very, very messy, but we survived. Alright, that is it for this. Let's run back to her before we get attacked by something else. It's actually a resource right here. Oh, we don't really need much silver. Thankfully, she is not far. Adiana Theron. I'm being chased, but I don't think she'll actually run this far. Oh, gosh. My knuckles sweat on that one. Well, the fountain is running again, so you've either been blessed with good fortune, or you actually followed through. I'm curious, however, what caused the blockage? 
Uh, corruption, you know, no big deal. Corruption blocking the flow of Azar through earthly passages. Impossible. There must be another explanation, but I will look into the matter myself. You oh, have done your part, so I will hear what you came here to say. But I warn you. I have no sympathy for the plight of humans in the battle against corruption. It is not our fight. Who is our? She says it's not our fight, as if she is not a human. But she is in human form, and the hermit did allude to the fact that she appears as a girl. So this is no woman. This may actually be Angry Earth itself. In human form or something along those lines. <laughs> Do you even realize how much you ask? How much your kind has already taken? The angry earth will want to know the truth. Do you plan to use this seed to fight corruption? Uh, of course I do. You are honest, aren't you? Good. We loathe deceit. Perhaps on that account I will make your request. But tell me, do you know why humans fall to corruption, but the angry earth does not? I don't even know what the heck the angry earth is in its essence. I just know that I need it. So, no. Because corruption's power feeds the ego, your kind's great weakness. Angry earth has no ego, and that is how it offers protection. Try this tincture recipe. I believe it will help you. Okay, so the angry earth has no ego. Humans have an ego, and that's your weakness. Alright, that's not a new storyline, but I, I like where it's going. She's going to give us a tincture recipe so that we can, hi we can uh, hide our ego, for lack of a better term. We need water, petal cap, and river crest stem. Alright, it looks like I did have all the resources I needed in my storage unit, so I can go ahead and craft the Corruption Tincture. If you're curious as to what those items look like, so the Petal Cap is those little green kind of... Well, it looks just like that. I mean, I don't really need to describe it. it that, that's exactly how they look in the world, so keep an eye out for those. The... River Crest, though, doesn't really look so much like that. It, it's much... It has much more of a glow to it in the world. So look for something along the riverbanks where I showed you that is kind of glowing. And I think that one will be super easy for you to find. And then water, as I pointed out, you can just get here at the well. There is a well in every single hamlet. Alright, let's go ahead and make these tinctures. Just go to the arcane repository. I believe is where I should make them anyways. Yep, here they are. Common Corruption Tincture. And we need to make three of them. Boom. Alright, so we are up to 12 Arcana. We haven't done much potion crafting. And now we just need to go back to Ad Adiana. So let's go ahead and teleport right back up to the Shadow Mine Shrine. And back over to the Daughter Well. I'll see you there. Let's see what Adiana has to say. Now that we have the corruption tincture. There now. That will afford you some protection, whether or not your request for the seed is granted. I communed with the elements while you were away, but they have not yet given an answer. She a druid? I'm very curious as to who she is. It says she's the mistress of the wild. What does that mean? Your sincerity has impressed me. That is the only reason we are still speaking, but I think it will take more than sincerity to earn the trust of the Angry Earth. Hmm. I still think she is the Angry Earth. Anybody with me on this one? The Ebonbrock caverns nearby are overrun with the Corrupted. While they may pose no direct threat to the Angry Earth, they are a scourge on the land. So I imagine you need me to, what, drive them away? That may be impossible. But be merciless. Destroy as many as you can. Look for any clues as to where else they plan to spread their pestilence. You may well have need of the tincture I taught you. 
Oh, so maybe it's the... I wonder if the Azoth staff does protect you from corruption, or if it's actually the Tincture that does it. Interesting, but it looks like we will finally get the Angry Earth Seed after doing this part of the mission. So she said to kill as many of them as you can, and I was I was waiting to see how many she actually means there, but it just says confront the corrupted. It doesn't even tell you. I wonder if it'll tell you when we get there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and travel up that way. It's not too far. We see we have an array of quests up here. So we'll just knock all of them out while we are up here. All right, we have made our way up to the Ebon Rock Cavern. To continue our main storyline quest. Oh man, this guy was ready for me. <laughs> he was like, he was not messing around. He was like, I see you coming. Don't worry. But so we need to destroy Corrupted and discover what the Corrupted are planning. In an attempt to get this dang angry, angry earth seed that we need in order to make the Azoth staff. So, hopefully, we are successful in our mission. What's in here? Provisions. Oh, we got a sealed document. Oh, that was for one of the Covenant. Um, I think that's for a faction quest syndicate in this instance. Icarus spread. The Icarus slow spread of red down from Brightwood and Great Cleave has not been given proper attention by the Everfall Settlement authorities. Misha is too scared to look. Clark is too busy with bloody paperwork. Lee is off doing whatever Lee does. Petrowski is the only one who listened. Good old Petrowski, although she's very mean. What's this thing? Cavern Hound. We need it for one of the quests here, so we'll take that bad boy out. Let's go ahead and add these other things to the pinned objective so we don't have to keep wondering what we're, we're looking for here. Alright, so we have everything that we need to do up here pinned now. Let's see if we can just go by the butcher or else if he's going to notice us. He did notice us. I've been using the hatchet a lot, but I actually do really like the sword and shield. I like not getting knocked back as much. Why does my guy insist on jumping downstairs? Is it so difficult to walk down the stairs? Oh, I pulled something. And not a muscle. A ghoul of some sort. Friends coming. Oh, he's trying to shooting at me. Oh, whoa, 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 these guys are coming in for the, coming in for the big hits, the big damage. Hey yo! Shout out to Lazy Peon right there. If you don't watch Lazy Peon, I'd recommend it. He's one of my favorites. I don't know him personally. I just like his content. Ow. We are, oh, while we're here, we should remember that we need to put our corruption potion ow, on, on our toolbar here, our, and our hotkeys, so, <laughs> so we remember to use it when we start to essentially give in to the corruption. Here we go, we'll put it on five, and we'll see who is talking up here. Corrupted observations. The way these corrupted work is of a singular mind. All their pickaxe blows to the rocks time perfectly with one another. They take almost no breaks. One cook serving the entire operation that I can see from this vantage point. Oh, this guy's giving you a run for your money. Anyway. All right. Um, let's 
kill this guy or else he's gonna attack us. Let's eat some food too. Ow. Get a little bleed on him. He should die here with the bleed. Or not. Does this bleed not do anything? This is a very weak bleed, I feel. <laughs> he just took it like a boss. He didn't care. Alright. Discover what the corrupted are planning. How do we do that? Here? Even rock orders. As you stare at the symbols, they seem to twist strangely in your brain. You can feel the shapes of the sounds in your head, though you have no idea what they mean. All you can make out is some hint that the corrupted plan to attack the angry earth. And then you can see the actual words down there. Alright, so we did unlock the plans. That's good. There is a boss in here. We're gonna we're gonna wait for the boss to respawn. Might get some some gear or something off of it. Ooh, a two ninety nine spear. I like to just get rid of the stuff that doesn't have a a rarity. Dexterity and intelligence. We're already wearing a dexterity and intelligence. I mean, I like to go for the higher gear score right now, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. 299 is much better than both. You know, let's try that the ice gauntlet for a little bit. Let's see how this thing works out. Since we have people in here who are also waiting for this boss, it'll. It'll, we won't have to worry as much about getting our butts kicked because we're using a new weapon that we don't have any experience with. He's back! He's finally here! Put on a sword and shield, make sure we do enough damage to this guy to actually get credit. I think we did. He didn't drop anything? Alright, well that was a waste of time. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and... See, I'm not sure if we should go hand in the quest and then, like, maybe she'll give us a quest to come back up here. Or if we should just go up here because we're here already. Uh, I think I'm going to go down to her first. Because we've been going further and further up this mountain. Odds are she's going to send us up top there. And if she doesn't, we'll just come up and do those quests first. And then we'll teleport to wherever we need to go. Alright, we are back to Adiana. To find out what the next steps are in pleasing the uh, angry earth. Oh, that is not her. That is another player. <laughs> I heard the cries from here, and it gave me an immense satisfaction. Are the vile corrupted planning to mine the earth anywhere else in these parts? Worse, they're going to attack it. Impossible! The angry earth is immune to their evil magics, though they should know this. Either way, we are grateful that your actions today have disrupted their machinations. Well, what about that seed we were talking about? Your request has been granted, human. You should realize that this required a sacrifice, and it's not a gift that would be given freely again. Still, you are a fine representative for humanity. I hope this seed protects you well. Well, thank you. Finally, some niceness out of you, Mistress of the Wild. I'm going to find out what you are. Don't you worry. It's gonna happen. I don't care if the quest comes back here or not. Okay, so the next quest is to travel to the Fisherman's Bend. Which is probably where the Hermit is. That is true. We first are going to go up here. Finish these three quests here. So that when we do finally get back to Everfall, which I'm sure we will soon... We will have them done and we can hand them in. So I will see you up at this next quest location. That'll do it for this episode, though. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we will start off by heading up to that other quest location, knocking out those quests, and then continuing our path to becoming a Soul Warden.